careless, reckless, and dangerous. Witnesses say speeding and racing was the cause of a crash that sent seven students to the hospital after their Albuquerque school bus was flipped on its side yesterday. Two of those students had to undergo surgery for serious injuries. Today, when we went back out there, pens, pencils, markers, even a, a student's broken glasses just cover the ground at this intersection in southwest Albuquerque. Police have now charged 49-year-old Mario Perez for crashing into that bus, and they say he was potentially going 60 miles an hour over the speed limit in that area. We don't have his mugshot yet because he's still in the hospital recovering from a broken leg in that crash. And police are still looking for whomever Perez was racing. But today, his wife is speaking out in his defense, blaming the school bus. Kai Porter spoke with her. Kai, sounds like Pettis should know that neighborhood pretty well. Yes, he should, Tessa, because Pettis was allegedly street racing through his own neighborhood. Court documents reveal that he lives just a few houses away from the intersection where this crash happened. And that's where I spoke with his wife this morning. Is this the home of Mario Pettis? A woman who identified herself as the wife of Mario Pettis answered the door, then answered some of our questions. We just wanted to stop by. I know he's still in the hospital, but wanted to see if you guys have anything to say on his behalf. Um, we're covering the story of the crash he's accused of causing. Um, I don't know. He's not. He's not at fault. I mean, I heard differently, and I heard the bus was at fault. You did. Have you talked to him? I have. What did he say about what happened? I'm, I'm not going to comment on anything he said. Despite what she told us, police say Perez was at fault. They believe he was street racing another driver in a blue Mustang when he crashed his white Mustang into the side of the school bus, causing it to flip on its side. According to an arrest warrant, a witness estimated the two Mustangs were racing at more than 110 miles per hour in a 40 mile per hour zone. They're saying that he was street racing, that he was going faster than 110 miles per hour. Has he ever done that in the past as far as you know? No, he's never done anything like that. I mean, he's a real, he knows a lot, you know. He loves his car, but he's never hurt anybody or anything. He's always been really careful about everything. And today we did an online search of public court records for Pettis. We did not find any serious criminal history, just a misdemeanor speeding charge from seven years ago. Tessa, back to you. Kai, thanks. And as we mentioned, police are still searching for the driver of that second car. The suspect is accused of racing. A witness reportedly told investigators she saw two Ford Mustangs racing down Gibson. As Kai pointed out, they estimate at more than 110 miles per hour. And again, speed limit just 40 there along Gibson. Police say the second car was a blue Mustang.